Hey guys, this is Chris. And this is Colin from Creator Industries, and we are back with the last category, which is... a Ooh, For our essential service mechs, Chris, please take it away and tell us who is lucky. They're not even lucky. The deservant winner. Yeah, so we got Adam, age 40, from Saskatchewan, Fire Team X05. Very cool, very cool. Now, with the a category, let's get into this. Yes. This is kind of a thing that Colin and I... Wow, we talked a lot about, because we had several several winners that um are very like tall. several several entries that Sorry. were yeah yeah it well several choices for winners and it was just so tough to choose um, we had discussions about each individual builds and we had spreadsheets we had pros and cons we, <laughs> we had, had bar graphs, bar graphs, bar graphs and pie charts no it was just <laughs> it was intense just because uh we had to thoroughly go through each entry and just ask ourselves why does this fit into the essential mech yeah, um, services? One hundred percent. So, but yeah, like um, let's just try the build, and maybe we can describe a little bit in more in detail uh, sure. why we chose it. Um, but yeah, what, describe, <laughs> describe it to them at first. So, starting with the shape and what you guys are seeing right now, it's a fire truck. Yes. Like it's a basically it's a fire truck mech, um, but you also have a rescue dog with it. So, what you guys are looking at. Um, all, their, all the color schemes, yellow and red, and there's absolute function involved in this one. So it's a fire truck that has transformed into a mech. So you have a water cannon, you have a crane to reach up um, for higher places, and you also have a rescue dog to get from, what, like from the fire to the rescue point? Yeah, I mean, they might be like a rescue dog who like, yeah, pulls them out of the fire. Um, I mean, we'll see it in a little bit more detail when we uh, check out the dog. Um, but yeah, that must be what it's for. Or maybe it's like a dog ambulance. Do you think it like runs Ooh. faster than, like Probably. it can like pull out a, like legs. whoever it needs to and then just goes to the hospital? Exactly. So, I, I mean, if, if you got an emergency, you can, dogs or the way that this is shaped mm. or size wise, you can jump over cars. Yeah, that's true. Right? Like, and maybe they have more, maybe like the fleet would have a bunch of these. And so that as they that rescue people so out of the cool. building, they could instantly bring them Yeah. so that it would save more lives. Cause it'd be faster. I like that. Yeah. Right? But yeah. yeah. Cool technique with the Technic, uh, with the extendable arm. Yeah. Uh, that one, that crane can actually go like it, Telescopic. Exactly. Like, um, yeah. Cool, cool water. Uh, receptacle on the back mm -hmm. and the fire hose which is pretty neat um yeah w where's that dog photo let's i want to dive into that dog photo. yeah there, uh, there it is cool chris <laughs> this is one of your favorite reasons one of one of the reasons why we chose this one is because of the functionality and the uniqueness right right like it's a dog a dalmatian piloting a dalmatian that's so funny mech. it's so good and we kind of described the functionality of it already but the idea the idea to think that um, not just, a, well, I would need an ambulance or a way to transport people mm -hmm. on a stretcher. It's like, what can I do? Okay, well, I think, I think Dalmatian dogs are like iconically paired with fire trucks. Yes. Is that a thing? I, I think, I think so. it's yeah, a thing. For sure. And so instead of just having the Dalmatian dog being paired with the fire truck in some way, he made a Dalmatian mech piloted by a Dalmatian, mm -hmm. which is like the stretcher. It's like the carrier. We can see it's functionality and Absolutely. utilization right here. And the build is hilarious. Like it's so cute. It's, it's, small, it's small but detailed. Small. It has the black and white ears, different colors to represent like the Dalmatian. It's got the black dots for the spots. Mm -hmm. Even the back of the tail with the white tail and the black base. Like it, look, the feet are different yeah. colors, black and white. Like yep. it's just so funny. Like it's not funny as in like a bad way. It's funny just cause it's like, what a great idea. Mm -hmm. Like it's so cool, so cool. So. I mean, this is just one of the reasons why we decided to go with this build. And overall, this picture as a whole, just such a great set. Such it's a, a team. Great team. Yeah, for sure. And it's a great representation. Like, I, I know that uh, we received a lot of firefighting um, entries. We did receive, receive and, quite a few, yeah. Like, for the eight ball category, we really had to, like, do drill down and say, like, okay, does this check all the boxes? Does this have function? Does this have design? Does yeah. this have the details? that we're looking for. And I mean, you do have everything that a mech needs. Okay. It's agile, it stands on its own. It looks like it's piloted. It's definitely piloted. <laughs> um, and then you also have like little details like the fire um, extinguishers on the yeah. side of its legs. So like, cool. Um, even the firefighter in is in his suit. Yeah, inside. Right? So, like, I wonder if he can eject himself out and like go help or if oh, like he's well, stuck. It's, 
Yeah, you can call. Oh, there's there a is. hinge oh. there, right? He never showed, but the hinge definitely opens up. That's awesome. And I mean, there's there's levels of like gauges, like because maybe everything is pressurized, like every definitely. little nook and cranny has water, or like maybe it's got some sort of. Um, Looks like it has like pneumatics yeah. and stuff as well. Like I mean, like how are the arms and stuff moving, right? So, right. So cool. But I mean, even as a little tiny detail where they use the fire, um, yeah, fire engine like deco there. Yeah, the decals right? on the side definitely make it. It gives it that authentic feel to it. Right. Uh, other than just being a red, like obviously the the color scheme really helps, yeah. but it gives it that extra. Like this looks like it was a fire truck that just tr 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 transformed, yeah. right? Well, like look at um, even going back to the T fall category, they had an anchor. The anchor, Kyle, really right? great. So such a great guard. piece to use. So it's just like this too. Like you have all these little intricacies that shows off that this is a fire truck. Yeah. Right? It's so good. Um, but yeah, I can see this in the future, maybe 2050. Why not? That'd be oh, so, so cool. cool. Um, but I want to see these dog necks. You want an army of them. Dalmatian You want a necks. bunch of them. Yeah. Just running around saving people. It'd be so... I like how you said it. What if there was like a bunch of them that they were like going back and forth, yeah. right? You can see them. It'd be really cool in a movie. Them just like hopping over cars, like you said, just like yeah. dodging under things that like... Yeah, I don't know. Like it's so cool. But Adam... Well, Thank you for showing us what a real fire mech looks like. Yeah, and, such a special um, build. Really cool. I think if we, we showed this to the firefighters, uh, they would really appreciate what you've done. So thank yeah. you guys for building for our essential mech services. We wanted to thank all the brave men and women that served uh, during you know COVID at, at the front lines. And continue to serve, of yeah. course. Um, and again, of course, if you appreciate um, all of these workers, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe button to show everyone that you really appreciated yes. this build. Uh, and of course, we would appreciate it also. But that is it for this theme. Mm -hmm. We are looking forward to coming at you guys with the last theme of season, uh, season two. Yep. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah. But thank you guys for joining us. See you later. Mm -hmm.